Mm. Oh, that was a good nap. Oh, I feel so refreshed. It's like I've been out for for months. Haven't felt this good in a long time. That you know, these cryo chambers they do they do the trick. All right, so we better get back to work here, though. What the heck was that? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know what that is. Oh, hello. That is a big. Uh, okay, we don't we don't mess with them. So I set my alarm for. Oh my goodness! I've been I've been asleep for two months. Really? How did this happen? My acting is so bad. It really hasn't improved at all, has it? <laughs> okay, guys. So we are back in the modded Minecraft series. It's back. We're back. If you don't know what happened, I uh, had some trouble a little while ago. I tried updating a few of the mods, and then, like, I wasn't able to start up the world anymore. It, it, it like, I don't know. A bunch of the mods weren't were, weren't working together anymore. So after, like, a whole bunch of trial and error testing of, like, deleting a mod, starting up my world, seeing if it crashes, and then putting it back, I found out... I had to update Fast Craft and uh, Thermal Dynamics, both of them together, to work with my new version of Forge. And I wasn't able to do like an undo. <laughs> Usually, I'm I'm uh, I always try to have a backup plan, you know, in case the the updating fails. But I'm careless with it. I just delete the mods and they go into my recycling bin. If there's a problem, all I have to do is restore them. But I found out something I didn't know. If your recycling bin is full on your computer, it doesn't delete like the oldest, f the oldest file. It deletes the one you just deleted, and then it's permanently gone. So, yeah, <laughs> I need to be more careful in the future. I didn't realize that. So, my old mods were gone. I didn't know what versions they were. Nothing was working. Finally, pieced it back together here, and I am happy to be back in our world here. I feel very. Uh, out of place so at the moment it's gonna take me a little while to get used to what we've done here get back into the flow of things you know but I'm seeing it with new eyes as well now I, there's a lot of things I want to change but maybe uh, to get going here to get back into the whole modded thing I thought it would be fun to try do a miscraft age it's been a while since we did that and I've wanted to make like a dense ore age for a long time this might be a bad idea, but we're going to attempt it. So I just I just did some reading online of how this works. Because I'm a total noob when it comes to Mistcraft. Okay, so we want dense ores. That's the main thing we're looking for. I read if you ever use dense ores, it's always an unstable age, though. Unless you add bad things like spontaneous explosions. Normally you wouldn't want that, but if we add that, maybe it will... Uh, make the world a little bit nicer um, anything else we can add lightning uh, I don't have a thing for meteors that was another thing it recommended but we'll try those two okay how do we how do we miscraft here let's grab a linking book so we can get back to our world here was it just right click okay I hope I did that right <laughs> um, now we got to make a descriptive book it feels so weird playing modded Minecraft again. It's all so much. It's so much more complicated. It's insane. Okay, linking book. I think we have to use this book binder then, right? Okay, yeah, that makes the descriptive book. That now we add in our pages. The order of this probably does matter, but I don't know how it works. So I'm just gonna put them in there. Okay. Hopefully I did that all right. Let's uh, let's put in one of these pedestal things. All right, the middle one, and we'll put this on the bookshelf for right now. Oh, we have an extra one there. Okay, good. All right, let's try this out. Hopefully I didn't mess this up. Nope, oh, it's going. It's working. Ah, oh, darn it, guys! It's a poison world. We're getting poisoned. Hunger, slowness, 
Weakness, mining fatigue, okay. Explosions! Let's get out of here before it's too late. Man, I was hoping that would work. Uh, maybe I'll try it one more time. I think we have another dense ore page. Mm, oh. Can I get them back? Oh, it doesn't let me pick them up here. Okay. We probably have to use new pages every time. So we can try this maybe one, maybe two more times. We're going to add spontaneous explosions and scorched surface. Uh, let's hope this one works. All I want is, like, no poison. If, if there's no poison... Even if there's other bad things, it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, weird. Weird. Okay. <laughs> not what I expected. So we're in the... Uh, it's like a cave world. Cave world with nether ores. And water? What is this stuff down here? Oh, I stepped in it. This isn't water. Some type of chemical. <laughs> okay. I was kind of hoping we could get like iron and stuff here, but this might be good if we want quartz. Oh. Oh no, it's poison. What? On the surface of the world, you get poisoned. Okay, okay. I think we're going to get out of here. <laughs> oh! Oh, I hope I didn't just die there. Oh, my my jetpack activated hover mode automatically. That, that probably saved me, to be honest. Alright, let's pick this up again. That wasn't a very good world either. And as far as I could tell, we didn't actually get dense ores there. Hmm. Okay, call me crazy, but I went back to that first world. <laughs> I'm looking to see if there's actually dense ores here. And so far, it doesn't look like there really is. I'm also seeing if like, I go underground, maybe I don't uh, get poisoned. But I still do get poisoned, even when I'm down low here. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, this looks like normal ore generation to me. So I did something wrong. Let's go back. I'll let you guys tell me how to do it, because you probably know exactly what to do, right? Alright, well, I tell you what, guys. Let's move on here. I wanted to do a, a project today. I want to do some building. We're going to be building... Get this. This is going to be awesome. A firework factory. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's in the box? What's in the box? Ta-da! So I tried to get some stuff ready here so I don't have to cut the video every couple seconds to go craft something. And hopefully I didn't miss anything. I kind of planned this out in my head. We'll see how this goes, though. It's going to be a very complicated build. But should be pretty cool if we can pull it off here. Get out of here, nature. Okay. So I want to build the firework factory over here. It's going to be... Kind of small, small to medium uh, size build. This will take out some of this hill, though. Oh, nature, today is not your day. All right, we'll start with that. Let's kind of get a little bit more space to work here. So we're going to have to do this in like a reverse order almost, um, like the end of the the process to the start of the process so it's it might be a little bit tough to follow at first what do we want to do here should we grab some of these what would be a good color let's go for maybe orange or brown whatever this is so we gotta like figure out the look we want first for this building um, maybe we will try start it around here yeah let's start it around here okay so what we're going to do is like build a little raised counter thing here. Raised conveyor belt. Oops. No! <laughs> no! Oh, I hate my life. Oh! Give me the chest back, please. I didn't have it, did I? 
What? Where's the chest? Oh my... Oh, it's over there. <laughs> oh, I tried to be all super organized here. That worked out great. There we go. Okay, let's put this inside. Inventory management, guys. It's the worst thing in this game. It's unbelievable. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully I didn't wreck anything there. Okay, this is what I wanted. Conveyor belts. Let's do this. So we're going to have some conveyor belts. I love the way these things look. They're from Immersive Engineering. When I updated the pack, I decided to add that. So we got that going along. And what these do, they move entities. Like when I'm on here, if I try to walk like forward, it, it sort of keeps me on the track. It like centers me and everything. And just forces me along. Can I fight the, the thing? A little bit, yeah. Okay, but the idea is we're going to be dropping items on here. We're going to try and make it look like a real factory. All right. Uh, we can maybe even go one more block this way. What happened to... Yeah. Get this over here. All right, anyways. So the next thing, let's plan to do our shoot. So what I want to do is drop gunpowder and sand onto this conveyor belt and then they're going to go into a machine that's going to combine them into TNT. That's like the end end process. Let's go up one more. Wedges. Here's the wedges. Okay, so let's do a little thing like this. All right. This is all going to make sense. Just give it a bit of time. And I think I wanted to do a dropper here then, right? Let's go for a dropper here. Okay, do we have droppers? Yes. Okay. Do it like this. Face it downwards. So it's important that these blocks are lowered one below the dropper as well so it doesn't shoot it out sideways and miss the conveyor belt. I think this will always land on the conveyor, I hope. Do we have a button? Maybe we can test that with a button. Those are gonna land. Yeah, that one's fine. Good. Let's put a couple more items in here just to try it a few more times. That's good. Just want to make sure it doesn't miss that conveyor belt. And then we'll have this cool effect of watching the sand and gunpowder fall down here too. Okay guys, so as you probably know already, to make TNT you need gunpowder and sand. To make the gunpowder, we are going to use the flint method. Alright, so you can do it with sulfur, you can do it with niter, sulfur charcoal, creeper plants. Um, there's a few different ways. I know Thomcraft has a way. This is the one I want to do though. This is a this is a pretty simple way. So you just crush flint, makes gunpowder, and to get flint you can uh, pulverize, yeah, pulverize gravel. So that's going to be our main ingredient. Gravel makes flint, makes gunpowder. So let's get that rolling here. Oh, I'm in hover mode. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to use a crusher. This will crush the flint into gunpowder and then put it in this dropper. And the pulverizer is going to convert the gravel into flint and put it in the crusher. Again, we're building backwards here, which is kind of confusing. All right, so output will be... We want red, right? I think red, yeah. That'll put the, the flint into here. And then, I'm, I'm really not used to mechanism. I think we've got to turn auto eject on. And dark blue. Yeah, this is the blue over here, the output. So that'll make it go into the dropper, I think, I hope. Okay, so I got a couple more things added here just to try speed this up. Uh, I got the sand generation portion over here. So if we put gravel in this crusher, it makes sand. Also, one of the byproducts to making uh, the flint in the pulverizer, we have a 15% chance of making sand instead of flint. Alright, that time we got flint. If it is sand, though, it's going to come out to the left here and go into the sand dropper like we want. We need some way of ejecting the items automatically, though, so that's what uh, these comparators are for. So we'll just detect if there's something inside. Loop it back like this, and we got redstone. Yeah, we do. Okay, this should do it. 
Okay, so now if any item goes in here, should automatically eject it onto the conveyor belt. And oh, <laughs> this frame rate, I don't know what's going on. If I look this direction though, I think at the village over there, maybe that's what's, what's killing it. I'm trying to avoid it though. All right, let's try out a couple pieces here. I got some speed upgrades as well. We'll probably want to add a few of these. Look at that. Ah, oh, so cool. All right, let's do the next part here. So I actually want a way of combining the sand and the gunpowder into TNT. Uh, I made an auto workbench to do that. Do I have hoppers? Oh yeah, right there, okay. Okay, so maybe let's break this. And we will make the conveyor belt go this way into a hopper. Uh, let's put the auto workbench maybe over here and then the hopper like so. Okay, so now we need a recipe to make the TNT. Okay, do we have sand? I thought we would have picked some up. Oh, there we go. Okay, sand. Okay, that's our, our TNT thing now. So the items will go into our reserve here. When there's enough to make a TNT, it's going to do that. And then um, we send it back out to, to another conveyor belt, the finished product. All right, so let's do this and then wrap it back around. Oh, man, I'm getting excited. It's coming together here. I think with these conveyor belts, you can directly output to them with a pipe, actually. Let's try that out. So right from this, oh, maybe not. No, this one's going the wrong way. How did that happen? There we go, now it's going the right way, okay. And we'll need a servo, I think. Okay, so when it crafts a piece of TNT, it's gonna automatically eject it onto the conveyor belt. And we'll try to make it look like a machine here. So we're gonna kind of cover over all this. All right. Uh, wedges? Yeah, let's do wedges. Kind of round it out. And in the middle, uh, we'll do a different color. I also made a couple lights for this specifically. <laughs> a couple orange lights. Maybe we'll bl put blue in the middle then. Do that on that side and this side. All right. All right, everybody, so check it out. I've jumped ahead a little bit here. I hope you don't mind. I just did some cosmetic stuff off camera here to try uh, try get this done this episode. I don't want to drag it on too long. I think it's looking pretty cool, though, right? Uh-huh. I like it anyway. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're going to add... Now, this is the part where you guys find out I'm crazy, because I should, I should probably clarify it. We're not exactly trying to make, like... Uh, a high efficiency thing here. This is like a Rube Goldberg machine, like crazy, chaotic, fun sort of thing is what we're going for. Because if we wanted to do high efficiency, then then we would just craft the TNT in, a, in an ME system, probably. It's really hard to top that. But we're going to try and make something cool here that looks that's fun to watch, you know. That's what I'm aiming for. So the next thing I want to add... Oh, darn, it did that trying specifically to avoid that although I think we do want that now that I think of it <laughs> um, I'm trying to add like a rotating oh why didn't that connect there we go let's see what do I want to do here did I bring this out too far I wonder ah uh, hopefully that's hopefully that's all right the idea is I want to add a rotating wheel here that picks up the gravel and then drops it on this conveyor belt and you can see when you do that it's kind of like dropping it on a on a slab it automatically breaks it and then it goes into our crushers and on the conveyor belt below all right and I've divided this in a specific way as well three of the gravel are gonna go into the flint maker over there and two of them should go into the sand maker and if we multiply that by two it works out to six six flints or six gunpowder and four sand one extra gunpowder but like i said before there's a 15 percent chance that 
one of those flint is going to become a piece of sand. So it's going to be very close to uh, a piece of TNT every two times this runs. You still following me? I probably lost you there. <laughs> I'm just rambling on like crazy here. Okay, so I'm going to hook up a wheel here with a mechanical rotator. Maybe we can try this out before I cut here. Um, I don't know which which side I need to do this on. Maybe it's this one. We'll try this side first, I guess. Okay, so the way this works, you just put it... Oh, wrong way. Put it like... Why? No! Why is it going like that? Maybe I gotta be lower? There we go. Do I have one more rod? Yeah, we do. Okay, so now when I when I flick the button on this, or... Do I not... Man, I have no levers. <laughs> this always happens when I'm recording. It's like, I need one thing, and I don't have it. Um, <laughs> trying to do this without cutting constantly. Okay, we'll just make a button real quick, I guess. Oh, can't put it on the ground. We're in 1.7. There we go. Yeah, so this is going to rotate around. It'll pick up a piece of gravel on this side, rotate it over, and then drop it on the conveyor belts there. Let me hook this up, and we'll check it out. All right, guys, so here's our wheel pretty much all together here. What I've done is I just put some super glue on each of these piston arms. This makes it so they can move blocks around, right? So it'll pick up the, the gravel. So the idea is we put gravel here. This is the Pistronics mod, by the way, if you're wondering. It's a very cool mod. I like it a lot. Now, now check this out. Picks it up, and since you know gravel tries to fall down, right now it's being supported. It's all good. Once it gets to the, over there, though, automatically starts getting converted into gunpowder and sand. Gets ejected onto our conveyor belts, into our auto crafting table machine over here. And if there's enough in there, it'll make a piece of TNT, which currently goes nowhere, but we'll have to add something to pick that up. Okay, so now we need a gravel delivery system up here. <laughs> um, again, all totally unnecessary, but very fun. Let's see, I want to make a redstone torch, I guess. We're going to do like smart pistons here. That's my plan anyway. Okay, so I think if we do this, a piece of gravel will be able to sit on that still. Let's make it then go to our piston rotator over here. So bring it over like this. All right. Oh, and I think we need a delay on that, actually. Do I have any repeaters on me? I do. Otherwise, I, I played around with this before, and it's, it was a bit wonky if I didn't have a two delay on it. Okay, so I think put the gravel there. Then it automatically moves it. Good. Very good. Okay, so now we need some way of pushing the gravel over over to here. So I'm just going to use a regular piston for that, probably. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so we're going to do a smart piston over here. So if a gravel block lands right here, it automatically pushes it because this gets powered. And that goes to the piston. And then it moves it out of the way so it gets unpowered again. And then when it gets to this final, final block here, this will automatically cause the wheel to spin too. Automatically drop it off onto the conveyor belts. Oh, you can do that right away too. Oh good, there's no waiting time then. Cool. So, we just need a way of getting the gravel up here, and this is the parts that I'm very happy about. Oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> here, we might need to remove this for a second. Okay, so while playing around in creative, I discovered something that sort of spawned the whole idea for this. These conveyor belts are very cool. They look nice. Um, but they also have a function that I don't think is really intended, but just kind of stumbled into it. I thought it was really neat. Let's just build this up a little bit. Um, there's a bee near me, apparently. Oh, okay, this is harder to do than I thought. Let's try this again. I think I gotta break this one and replace it. 
There we go. Okay, good. Let's let's build this back together. So we want to break this. Oh, hover mode. Let's break this top one. Um, put the redstone back. Hopefully this works. Might need to do a couple adjustments here, but yeah, check this out. Well, let's go on the side here. Just do a little quick test to make sure that I got this right. So if you drop gravel on an upward slope, it actually carries it up. It, it can grab falling sand and falling gravel entities and carry them like that, <laughs> which is just awesome. It doesn't work for the horizontal ones, but if it's sloped upwards, it works. I think we might need to get rid of this one too. Make it jump over the redstone piece there. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we can carry gravel up from the ground using conveyor belts. All right, guys. So <laughs> this has been one crazy build. I think it's about wrapped up here. I added in this little gizmo over here. So it places gravel in midair, then it falls onto the conveyor belt, goes up to the top here. Um, this is actually a crusher as well. And it's being fed cobblestone from this igneous extruder. So once this all fills up with gravel, by the way, it's going to stop running and won't hear that noise all the time but right now it's just playing catch up um last last piece of the puzzle i dug a little hole here there's a clock that runs but right now it's being locked in order to unlock it something needs to stand on this pressure plate all right the last piece of the puzzle is we're gonna call her sparky okay and up. Let's see if I can find it here. There it is. Aha! <laughs> so, we're gonna have a NPC that shows up to work here. I'll try to program her so she actually, like, goes home and then comes into work, and only when she's here, standing on this pressure plate, will the factory run. Can I not push her? Uh-oh. Okay, I can't push her. <laughs> um... Hmm... Can't punch her, can't push her. All right, well, let's just add another one on here. I don't feel like programming her right at this moment. That worked, right? It's not working. I failed. Sparky, what's wrong with your factory? Okay, so if that's powered, this gets unpowered. Oh, clock is running. I must have broke some redstone hidden inside. Um, hmm, let's look, let's look. No, that's going. It's going. Oh, you know what? I, I had a pulverizer there, and then I replaced it with a crusher, because pulverizer makes sand, and we need gravel. That'll work, right? Oh, come on, that's got to work. <laughs> no! Don't tell me these blocks... I don't think that machine transmits uh, redstone. All right, so I just changed out the wedge, carpenter's wedge we had here with a solid block. So this will actually send redstone to the block placer above. Doesn't look as good in my opinion, but it works. So that's what we'll do, I guess. And we got a, we got a few cosmetic things to do with this build yet. Like I want to support these conveyor belts with something and that wheels is kind of floating there. So. Um, but it's totally functional now, I believe, so let's check it out to finish up the episode here. So pretend Sparky showed up for work t today. She walks up to here, goes on the pressure plates. We'll just use Ankin for right now. <laughs> he activates the clock. Block placer shoots out the gravel blocks being created over here. They go up the conveyor belts to the smart piston. Once there's five there, the wheel spins, drops it onto the conveyor belt, automatically breaks them. They go into the hoppers, equally distributed to pretty much make a TNT without too much extra of any of the ones. Oh, the sand block missed the, the belt there. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> I guess I didn't test that enough. Although in any factory there is waste, right? So yeah. Okay. Anyways, so they get the the gravel gets crushed into gunpowder and sand. Gets automatically shot out. Oh. Okay, we have another problem. <laughs> it might be making it too fast for that to keep up. I have to change that, I guess. Alright, anyways, it goes into our automatic TNT crafter. And slowly we see them running down the conveyor belt here. Give it a little bit of time. We might see another one. We go into the hopper. I just put a hopper here and a item cache thing for right now, I guess. Come on. Takes a little while to make TNT. Oh. Come on. There we go. Here comes a piece. <laughs> and that is the final product. So, let's check out what the distribution is right now. Yeah, so the gunpowder and the sand are actually pretty close. I've made a few TNT already, and they're staying pretty close so that there's not like filled up with sand in here because if that happens it's going to stop working so that's good to see uh we'll want to do some cosmetic stuff on the on the build here yet but i think we'll call it here for today um the episode's getting a little long so we'll skip the comment of the day today as well but i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you're excited for uh, modded series being back thank you for watching hope you have a wonderful day Take care. Bye-bye.